Got him, got him, unreal, unreal. Look at the size of that fish on the line. Look at him go. Wow. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish hit it on the drop, he had it the whole time. Beautiful fish, look at that. Just absolutely bizarre. We are out at the abandoned sewer plant today. I'm gonna to be doing some bow fishing as well as some lure fishing. It's very cold right now, but there is a scheduled upswing in the temperature in about a week. When that happens, I have a lot of success with alligator gar. They come out when the cold weather subsides and you get a string of warm days. So we're gonna get some bait today. Tell you what, let's get on the, the right hand side of this. Oh, there's something right there. What is that? I can't shoot anything that I don't have a solid ID on. I do believe that was a fish though. Oh, hang on. I missed it, I missed it. It was a tilapia. 100% tilapia right there. Harder than, uh, harder than normal bow fishing here because uh, we're not actually shooting a fish that we can see 100%. We're shooting at the, uh, the wake they left as they dove under this algae. But uh, the fact that I actually saw one on top of the water gives me a lot of hope that we're gonna get one. The only good thing about getting them when they're feeding like this is that uh, if they're breaking the surface of the water, I'm not dealing with the refraction. I'm trying to calculate, there's one right there. I'm not trying to calculate the shot so much. Okay. Boom, there's one there. I wanna spot one on top of the water. That could be one right there. I think that's one right there. missed him or did I oh I got him holy shit I think I got a fish hang on did I get him I can't tell oh I missed him damn I thought for sure I saw his body on the end of that arrow I'm not gonna lie having a compound bow out here would be much nicer went with a less expensive bow besides this is the kind Burt Reynolds used so there's that all right, let's walk along this pipe here. We are looking for little fish mouths on top of that algae right there. This one showing his back. Oh, think that was a hit. Let's find out. Yes, we got a fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Hang on. Oh, ah. My back hurts so bad I can't move very much. Damn, this is a good fish. Oh my God. He's massive. Holy crap, that's huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm excited. That is a hell of a tilapia. Oh my God. What a monster. Let's get him up here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the size of this tilapia. This is a big fish. Man, really beautiful. This is gonna be a nice alligator gar bait. I can probably get one, two, three, four, maybe five baits out of this if I'm fishing on the smaller side. Uh, smaller baits for big fish. But really beautiful. I mean, when these guys and these cichlids don't have any predators, all they do is just eat, eat, eat all day. Um, and they get monstrous like this. So. Nice bait to have. This is the kind of fish I would normally catch on a rod and line or a cast net if I was going to use it for bait. Um, so I, I don't really have any issues with using the bow. Uh, generally speaking, I try to avoid that practice. Um, but since I'm going to use this fish um, as bait for another species, I am okay with what we're doing. Really beautiful though. Man, he's, look at the head on that guy. That's a, that is a big cichlid's head right there. That's how you know you've got a big one amazing amazing let's try to get at least one more because i go through alligator guard bait pretty fast so let's try to get one more and we'll do some uh, lure fishing after that i think you know these arrows inexpensive uh this whole setup like 150 bucks you can pay a whole lot more for you know the nice equipment the expensive compound bows and they are better they are much better don't get me wrong 
But if you're uh, short on cash, you want to do some boat fishing, you don't you don't need a whole lot to get going. Ooh, look at that. There used to be a, a post here and the bolts are still there. I almost tripped over it went in. It would have been messy too. It would have been a clean fall. It would have been like boom, boom, boom. And then, then in. Just gotta remember to take slower steps. Yes, okay, this is good. Cause uh, there could be fish on either side of this. And I want to have my pick on which side I'm going to shoot. But I think over here I saw one. Stop every every couple of steps, have a good look around, be nice and slow and cautious. There's no worse feeling for a fisherman stalking fish than you, you take maybe one more step than you should have and suddenly poof, the water explodes as your fish swim away. I think there's one right about here somewhere. Yeah, there's one right there too. Okay, so there might be a shoal feeding this area. We just gotta wait for one of them to show itself. Tilapia can be really subtle. I don't know how they behave where any of any of you guys watching it, if you are familiar with tilapia, depending on where you fish from, they might behave differently. But here, I've noticed around Houston, they are very subtle fish. They feed subtle, they move subtle. I'm right on top of them too. Okay, he keeps, he keeps touching the, the weeds there. The moment I get a clear indication where he is exactly, we'll have a shot. That's why you want a compound bow. I could still be holding it. Got him, got him, unreal, unreal. Got him. He's a good one too. Look at him go, look at him go. Look at the size of that fish on the line. Look at him go. Wow. Oh my God. Look at him go. This one's better than the last one. Or at the very least, we may not have hit him in a vital area? I don't know. Maybe it's just the nature. Oh my God. Oh, it's a carp. It's a carp. That's why. Oh, I was going to say this is like the world record tilapia here. Okay, so this is a carp. Normally, I use carp for alligator guard bait, guys. I do. There's the bow. I'm not sponsored by them. But again, every now and then, I find it helpful if somebody's trying to get into a field uh, for the first time, this is the first thing that came up on your YouTube search. It's not a bad one to start with. If you are have any amount of experience with this, like literally more than like two or three sessions, you have more experience than me, so just ignore it. Big carp. He is dead. 100%. This fish is not alive. This is not a living fish, so don't worry. But uh, big carp, it will be a beautiful alligator gar bait. Let me get him back down. Uh, it's just the uh, literally quite literally, the nature of the beast. They like to eat these fish. So occasionally catching one for bait is an order. So none of these fish will go to waste. They are both dispatched instantly upon landing. And uh, you know, because we're bow fishing and not rod line fishing, I have, I think the breaking strain on this is like upwards to hundred pounds. It's heavy. So, you know, I'm not playing the fish. You can shoot them, bring them up, dispatch them straight away. Uh, 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 interesting way to get bait. I don't, I don't know if I'll do this every time, but there are scenarios where this might come in handy quite a bit, especially if, uh, I mean, think about throwing a cast net on that algae, you know, just catches all the algae, no fish. It's that time of day, it's starting to get a little warm outside. And I'm starting to see fish move around quite a bit more than earlier. So good chance for a bass. And that is why we're throwing these. We're breaking out the bait caster and we're breaking out these salt strong slam series slam shady soft plastics these things work so incredibly well and we're using the weedless jig head that way we can throw in the moss and the algae catch fish not plants and i've put some of this on it the dr juice saltwater slam powerful magic fish scent it's a mouthful but uh it does work a little gel that increases the scent on the uh the soft plastic or whatever lure you're putting it on 
the bite ratio that I've had does go up when I use this stuff. I don't partner with a lot of people, so I'm not just throwing a product name out there. Um, I don't want to be associated with something that doesn't work, but this does 100% work. Let's go further down here. There's a little hole. Oh, it's tilapia. There's a little hole down here I want to drop it into. Caught an amazing bass out of it last time I was down here. Corner right there seems like a pretty good place for a fish to set up shop. I'm just gonna pitch it almost like bow and arrow cast instead of trying to whip it back there. Sinking, 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 sinking. Man, so deep. The line's just going straight down. And it's on the bottom. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish hit it on the drop. Fish hit it on the drop. He had it the whole time. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Lift and caught. Try to keep him off the concrete. Wow, wow. Cannot resist that, can you, buddy? I need to actually get a close-up of that. Hang on. There it is. Big bass. Big bass on the Slam Shady. Really nice action on those lures. Let's get this guy unhooked, get him back. Sewer bass, incredible animal. It's psycho, it's psycho what's in here. I knew, I knew there would be a fish in that corner. It's just the kind of place that they cannot resist. Check out the link in the description, guys. You can get yourself a free pack of these. I've got a link down there. Just follow that link, claim your free pack. They'll ship it to you. I actually have a bet going with my subscriber base. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, you already know about this. So I had another video advertising these lures. And I said in that video, if I got a thousand people to claim a free bag, 1,000, that I would shave my head on camera with a pair of dog clippers. And of course, a thousand people didn't do it. I didn't expect them to. That's why I felt so safe. But I'm gonna up the ante. I'm gonna extend that into this video, combining the two. So between the two videos, this one you're watching now, and the one that uh, you'll see it come up at the end that you can click on. I'll also put the link in the description. Between these two videos, if I can get a thousand people to claim a bag of free Slam Series lures, I will shave my head on camera with a pair of dog clippers. I'll do it in a live stream or something. That's gonna do it for us today. Fantastic day of fishing. Oh, some fish right there. Plan is to release this on Christmas or at the very least Christmas weekend. So Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hope you guys are doing well. It's been an insane year for me. Absolutely bizarre, the things that I've been through and had the chance to witness this year. And the support from all of you has been absolutely incredible. So thank you for watching, whether it's your first time or your 370 whatever time. That's about how many videos I have. I appreciate it. Check out the link in the description for the Patreon page if you want to support the channel. Get yourself a free bag of these lures, the Slam series, the link, and the link to the Dr. Juice is down there in the description. Check that out, please. If you want all this luscious hair to be shaved on camera while I cry, 1,000 is the number we're shooting for. I look forward to a 2023 full of wild, wild fishing adventures, but also a bunch of adventures where the city and the wild meet because that's what made this channel. That's what we're going to keep doing for a very long time. Thank you for watching. New video will be coming in soon. Keep your eyes peeled. Until then, I'll see you guys.